this is a 26 bh gray wolf here at Haylet rv of coldwater michigan and uh one of the most interesting uh trailers i've run into and i'll kind of try to expand on that as we go um you're gonna see just an amazing price tag on this there's reasons for it and that's why i put these videos together i guess the the simple man's explanation is it ain't all there there's pieces and parts missing and whatnot and there's some history to this trailer that being said the trailer that's here and present today really not all that bad uh you know run, run with me around this thing and I, I think you'll see what i mean uh we're a gray wolf dealer so i'm very familiar with what this trailer is was brand new uh you know it's got some good things to it like the the wall structure and the you know all that is really solid these have like 12 inch on center wall struts versus 16 on center which is industry standard like your front wall here you notice they don't have a diamond plate but what they do is instead of a 0.024 thickness aluminum the front wall is 0.06 and this lower like two-thirds of the trailer is this super thick uh extruded um uh i don't know like rough edged uh, aluminum which basically does the same thing that a diamond plate you, uh, would that you'd expect this trailer is probably wear, weighing barely over four thousand pounds now here's the best i can figure from this trailer somebody bought this thing brand new they rode it hard and they put it away wet. I mean, I think this thing had a time where it was used pretty hard. However, somebody bought this, went through it, patched up the things it needed, and looks like resold it privately to the person who uh, we took it in on trade from. Uh, you know, you'll see when they went through and patched it up, they did a they did a lot of resealing, which is great. They were a little heavy-handed on the sealant, so I'm seeing a little bit of uh, overseal uh, around each window. It's cosmetic. It's not hurting anything it's there but it's really not a big deal um that's and that that's kind of what you're going to run into here there's a couple little cosmetics that at the end of the day they're just cosmetic they don't matter um if you've never ever ever had a camper and you're thinking of getting started this is not necessarily a bad choice real quick before i move on i just remembered standing at this corner uh I, you know you can see the sewer outlet right here they removed the black tank from this trailer meaning the toilet holding tank this trailer now requires you either A, don't use the toilet at all, or B, uh, get a campsite that has a direct sewer um, access point, essentially, an on-site direct sewer. Um, so again, there's nothing necessarily wrong with how this is put together currently, it's just that it's not what you expect from a camper, and I wanted to make sure I pointed that out to you. Um, the uh, Again, a little bit of overseal on the windows, but tires look fairly good um you know i'm not seeing anything that really scares me and uh that's that's really what i expected for these dollars i was like oh man what kind of you know rough shape is this going to be in and really it's not it's very strange and interesting now um like i said there's a lot of stuff missing i mentioned the black tank what you should be looking at right here is a dining table obviously you are not seeing one because it has been removed but they did a good job of it um you know they didn't scar up the walls or anything like that they didn't break anything they just removed some stuff and that's what's kind of funny uh like there's a flat screen mount over here against the wall there's a tv a nice samsung tv mounted over here they could have got a cheap tv and they didn't um you know so it, it not all bad really they added this little shelf here in the kitchen which actually they did a good job of so anything that they did they did a good job of they just made some very interesting choices ah i just I, I i knew i had to find something there has been some water penetration under this refrigerator that's why all this woodwork is kind of soft and spongy right here so there you go again i don't i put these videos together so that you, you know you don't think we're hiding anything from you so somebody had a fix them up trailer they bought it and uh put it back together into a very good functional state but it has most definitely had some history like for instance the cabinet doors up here have been removed but when they did it they did a good job of like you know putting some putty on the holes and whatnot so it didn't leave scars behind so the way i'm kind of looking at this because it's a it's a bunkhouse or it could be this is either a a good hunting shack or uh b this is like this is a really good play area and what's kind of funny if you don't need the dinette for extra sleeping, this is actually a really nice way to get some more floor space in a, in a no slide travel trailer. Um, you know, I, I don't have the full history of this. I don't know that we'll ever be able to achieve that. 
Um, like I can tell you that the bunk mats back here are missing. That's something that, you know, you could either pick up aftermarket, we could, you know, order for you, or you could find another solution. You could just use this as pure storage, depending on what you're doing with it. Um, again, though, it's, it's not dirty. It's not ripped up. It's not ripped apart. It's, they did a fairly nice job of everything. That's what's kind of surprising. This is certainly not the standard uh, medicine cabinet that was here, so they put a nice little floating mirror style medicine cabinet in there. Not too bad. Um, again, the black tank had been removed and a standard residential toilet has been put in its place. Um, the uh, bigger fan up here in the uh, bathroom is pretty nice. Now, as far as I know, and this is as far as I know, I'm not guaranteeing anything. I recommend you definitely, definitely come see this one in person. All your major appliances and whatnot, I've been told, are in good working order. I've not personally checked this. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to see everything working before you spent your money on it, we sure wouldn't blame you, and we'll take care of that for you. You know, we like to run an honest business here, and sometimes you got to go an extra mile. But, you know, like this sofa, this is the factory sofa, and it's in good shape. So, uh, again, it's very confusing, very interesting, but really not too bad you know big residential pillow top aftermarket mattress in there nice clean looking front end i mean it's clean it's very clean they definitely took care of it whoever um purchased it and did a little bit of fixing up they did an excellent job uh but you know it's not factory spec and we're certainly certainly not asking top dollar for this um, if you're just watching this video on YouTube, click over to our website. We do publish our pricing. You'll be able to see that. You know, we, we don't like smoke and mirrors. That's why we put this stuff together, because a camper like this, if a guy was going to be, a, a you know, a, a shady wolf, then he could pull some wool over your eyes. But that's, that's not what I'm about. I want you to have good information. If you do purchase this camper, I want you to know exactly what you're getting. And I want you to be happy with your decision to buy from Halet RV. So give us a call, 800-256. 5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping, have some fun.